Hello, it's John Edmonds. Um, normally we wouldn't open our hives uh, this time of the year. This is the 1st of July, but this winter has been a little bit different. Because we had the summer rain and there's been a prolific amount of uh, growth and there's weeds uh, uh, growing and flowering earlier than usual. And we've also had some of the trees like yellow gum and uh, flat top yate flowering. The bees are uh, more advanced this year than normal and um, I'm, I'll, normally we wouldn't open these hives in the winter, we'd leave them alone, but they're working and uh, I'm pretty sure we'll find they'll be brewed in this hive when we open it up. So we like to reduce the hive down for winter and um, as you may have seen in previous uh, videos that I've made, I like using the plastic to make a seal and also the reflective paint, uh, insulation to help keep the bees warm. And in this case, this hive here um, has got an ideal on the top of it um, with the frames that we use for our queen breeding, making our, our, uh, our nucleus or our nucleus hives. And um, this is the style of bee that uh, we, try, we try and breed. Uh, we, I like carniolan bees, and so um, they're dark and quiet and prolific. And these are just empty frames that have been put back on top of the, the uh, hive in case through the winter they uh, made some honey that will fill them up, which they, it, it is possible for them to do in Geelong if you have a mild winter. Um, particularly back in my father's time, he um, quite a few times filled up a box uh, over the winter. And as we can see, so there's the, there's the uh, fresh nectar and there's the stored honey. So they're going quite nice. I would like to see them a little bit stronger, but what happened is um, we had spare queens left over at the end of the season, so we actually cut a nuke off these hives just prior to winter so that we could use up the, um, the uh, new queens. So uh, under normal circumstances they probably would be just a little bit stronger than what they presently are. The best way is to move, take either number seven or number two frame out of the hive. You're less likely to squash the queen if you do that and get it out gently and as we can see the frame is well covered with bees so the bees are doing well once again all fresh nectar all in around here and we can see fresh yellow pollen uh, being brought into the bee by the bees so um, they're going quite nicely and just a little bit of a puff of puff, a puff of smoke when when the bees uh, start, don't start, you only want enough smoke just to make the bees go clear, uh, off the top of the, um, the frames so you know that then you're in charge. Now, this is very pleasing. We can see here a nice big patch of seal brood and this is typical of the carniolan bee. See how it is a solid patch of brood, just a few um, empty cells and that's where they put the fresh nectar. And you can see the fresh nectar in there and a pollen, and they store that in around the brood to feed the, um, the young bees. But uh, when they hatch out, that will be more than a frame of bees uh, that will hatch out, because roughly you can multiply the amount of brood in the uh, space in the frame by three, and that's about the amount of area they'll cover um, as, ha as hatched bee, hatching bees. Now, in these frame here, we can see once again the last grey bees that we breed for. This is a queen I've bred myself, so there is a little bit of yellow um, in amongst it because she has mated with an Italian. But we can see eggs in the bottom of the cells, so the queen is active because we've been getting very cold nights down to as much as uh, zero. Uh, but some nights it's been five degrees some nights has been up around eight and ten degrees but each day 
has been generally around about 15 degrees for a couple of hours through the afternoon, a nice sunny afternoon like today. Today is forecast to be 17 and that's why the bees are so uh, amenable to be um, looked at. And once again we can see a nice big patch of sealed brood, we can see um, where they've hatched and there's young, young grubs and that there, so the, we can see the hive is healthy and going along very nicely and at this stage I think we're up to what uh, number three frame of brood which is incredible for this time of the year because normally we wouldn't expect to see this amount of brood until um, uh, the, uh, the beginning of next month so we're, we're roughly a month more advanced than normal and this frame is just all honey and um, we can see the bees coming in with yellow pollen on their pollen baskets. So um, the hive is in um, good condition. As you can see, nice quiet bees, very easy to operate. You don't need gloves or anything like that. And um, it's a pleasure to work bees that are quiet. You, know, you don't have to worry about being stung with that. These, these hives have had a um, uh, patty of uh, agrocene and uh, caster sugar uh, mixed together with a little bit of glucose to hold it all together and um, they've, they've consumed all of that over the last three weeks um, that also could contribute to why the bees are going so nicely um, and in the past we put them in plastic bags but the bees made a terrible mess by chewing up the freezer bags and getting uh, bits of plastic all over the place. So now what we've been doing is putting it in paper bags and as you can see there's no, no remnants at all left of the paper bag. It, it's completely gone. So um, it's, uh, they just chew it up and, and uh, get rid of it. So, um, So overall, I'm very, very happy with what I see there, and uh, all being well, this hive will be good and strong and uh, ready to go very, very shortly. The other thing I do is I shake the bees off before I put the frame back in, the last frame, so that we don't squash bees as we put the frame in, and then just push the outside frame across um, for, uh, before, um, so that when you come to work the bees next time, you open it up, you've got somewhere to push the frame across to make a space to get your um, frame out without damaging bees. And then we just give it a, just a gentle push to push the bees out of the way. And sometimes a little puff to make them go back down where they should be. And we can brush them off if they're not behaving themselves. Shake the bees off. And we can then put this lid back on. And those bees hopefully will be nice and warm and tucked up ready for 